Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, and in today's video, we have a ton of brand new Five Nights at Freddy's merch. Now, I have not made a weekly FNAF news video in about a month, so now this is monthly FNAF news because I've been working on the giant 100k video. So, let's go over all the Five Nights at Freddy's news that I've basically missed over the past month, or at least the most important ones. Now, the main piece of news that you guys might have clicked on this video about is the brand, brand new Five Nights at Freddy's fight line. Now, what even is this fight line? I don't even care because I'm so excited we're finally getting FNAF World merchandise. Yes, you heard me correct. We are finally getting official set of only FNAF World merchandise. Basically, this is another one of Funko's spinoff games that kind of looks like a Pokemon game except without the cards and figures instead. But what's so cool about this game is it's a fighting, like, character fighting game, and the characters that they make fight are the FNAF World characters, which could not be more perfect as in FNAF World, you know, you fight the other characters. There are 20 different mystery FNAF World figures that, oh my god, they just look absolutely phenomenal to me. All these characters look so accurate to their in-game counterparts, they look so cool, so detailed, and they all come in mystery packs, so it's basically like FNAF World mystery minis. These characters are absolutely insane, and I'm so excited for these to come out. There's no current release date, at least not yet, from what I know of, but you can see from all the images, it looks so cool. There are 20 different FNAF World characters, it's absolutely amazing. But also, in Funko News, we have gotten a brand new line of Funko merch that will be coming out very soon. It is the Christmas line of FNAF merch. Now, this merch is going to come out a lot sooner before Christmas, almost in, like, September, I'm pretty sure, so you might see a review from me pretty soon on that, which is a little disappointing. I would much prefer if this came out around Christmas time, but all these characters look really, really good. We have Santa Freddy, Elf Bonnie, Snowman Chica, and Gingerbread Foxy. You can see their amazing designs in the action figures and Funko Pops. It looks like we might also be getting Funko Snaps and plushies of these characters. Unsure about the Funko Snaps, but I know we'll be getting plushies. So there's super cool Funko Pops of these four characters and action figures, as well as a... What? A, a Nutcracker Foxy action figure. Ugh. Yeah, no, this one looks awful. I The first four characters look incredible. But what is this? Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, it's it's pretty ugly, but these four characters, especially for Christmas characters, look absolutely incredible, and I really love them. Now, in some other merch news, moving on to YouTube's, we got a ton of brand new YouTube's leaks, starting off with a the Joy Creation Foxy plushie, which it's so cool. It's basically like a withered Foxy plush. He looks amazing just seeing him. He's so cool to look at, as well as four flocked YouTube's figures, being Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, flocked versions of the original ones, so if you never got to pick up those classics, now is the perfect time to get them again. So, these are kind of meant to be, like, movie figures for the movie, but I don't think they're allowed to put the word FNAF movie on it, so they're just pretty similar, as well as a super special Five Nights at Freddy's print, a poster for custom FNAF art that also looks really amazing. And for some other YouTube's news, we also got a reveal of, um, a long, long candy and pop goes plushies. Um, I mean, they look soft and huggable, that's nice, but design-wise, eh, they're a little, um, a little interesting, in my opinion. They do look better than the Hex plushies, I personally think, but overall, their designs are, eh, I mean, they're chunky and cute, and I think these would work great as pillows, so I'm not super against them. They're not majorly ugly, they just... They look interesting, that's the best way I can put it. But also, speaking of Hex, we got some brand new Hex reveals, as well as the release of the sitting wave of a sitting Fredbear plush and a sitting Spring Bonnie. So again, if you missed out on those, now you can basically get the same plush, but without the Magnus. And a super amazing, super cool look at the Puppet Hex plushie. When this was first revealed, I hated it so much. It was so ugly. I was like, I'm never gonna buy this thing. But this... This Puppet Hex plushie, this is the first Hex product that I will be there the day they drop. I'm so excited for this Puppet plushie. It genuinely, genuinely looks amazing. I was not really a fan of Waves 1, 2, or 3, but this Puppet plush is the best ever Puppet plushie ever made. This is one of the most accurate FNAF plushies ever made. And speaking of super accurate FNAF Hex plushies, we got a brand new look at the Hex Withered plushies. Now, these look so cool. A full look at Hex Withered Bonnie. Still the little look of Hex Withered Chica and a giant look at Hex Withered Foxy, which looks so cool. We also got a look at uh, Hex Mangle, who's um, 
Doesn't look the best for now, so I'm not really going to report on that, but yeah, that's Hex Mangle for you. But also, in the vein of Withered Plushies, there's a brand new bootleg company called XSmart that is working really hard on a ton of Withered FNAF plush. Now, one of the plushies, I've seen all of them before they release, but the one I can show to you guys is Withered Freddy. And I've kind of been working with them on these plushies, and I have to say, these Withered plushies are just incredible. They tried to make them as accurate to Funko plushies as possible, and I can't find a single flaw on these plushies which is just absolutely amazing. I'm so excited for these to come out. They aren't currently out yet, but the day they drop, I will be doing a review of them. Even this, so it's the first ever like a bootleg review, but thus these look so amazing. I have to do a review on them. They're so cool. And now into some actual Five Nights at Freddy's game news and a little bit of drama news. The Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, it's gone. It's canceled. It is no longer getting a game. Now, personally, I loved FNAF Plus. I thought it looked incredible. I couldn't wait for it to come out. I used it a lot in my thumbnails because it did get a lot of clicks, the FNAF Plus Freddy. These characters were some of the scariest, creepiest, and coolest things ever, especially the VHS tapes that were made for this it just look absolutely phenomenal. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the creator he he blocked me on twitter and stuff he seems to be kind of a negative guy but you know i can really respect the amount of work and dedication that he put into his game and sadly it is it's gone it's canceled because of a whole bunch of recent drama i don't specifically know what happened and i don't want to make any comments on it because i don't really want to take too many sides but he it definitely seemed like he was in the wrong in this situation i mean it was a twitter cancellation so what do you expect but sadly because of this little drama it it lost him the entire game which i uh, personally i don't think that was deserved it really was a amazing final of freddy's game and it's very sad that it won't be here i was really excited to play it i just beat FNAF 1 for the first ever time, getting really hyped for this game, and to see that it's completely gone is really sad. We know the game exists out there somewhere because he said himself that the game is finished. It's just, He finished it like three months ago and just never published it. So maybe one day it might get leaked. It might get officially posted. We'll have to see. But now that it only leaves us with basically three FNAF fanverse games left, we have Pop Goes Candy and The Joy of Creation. No more Flumpties and no more FNAF Plus, which is really disappointing because Flumpties and FNAF Plus were personally my favorites. But yeah, that seems to be about all the Five Nights at Freddy's news we have now there are some other kind of minor things a few other things but that is the majority of everything that i have missed that i will be covering in this video and i really hope you guys did enjoy there's a ton of fnaf merch news i'm so so excited for the five nights at freddy's fight line fnaf game these characters look absolutely incredible i could not be more excited the hex puppet plushie looks so good the flock d2s look really good the fnaf plus thing is super disappointing and yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy your weekly FNAF news video and that's it for today's video and I you know don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good old stuff and I will see you all later good